Hello, here we are back again with some more exciting physics from Mr. Newton. So uh, we've been learning about acceleration and velocity and all this stuff, but now we're going to learn about what causes acceleration. So what causes accelerations is a thing called force. Now, a long, long time ago, a guy named Newton, very smart, um, and of course it runs in the family, he discovered that forces equal the mass times the acceleration. And so, um, so he sort of defined that, um, that there's actually a, a product of the mass and the acceleration, which is what is the force needed to cause the acceleration. So what's linked here is force, mass, and acceleration. So we'll be using this quite a bit in the, in the next few videos next few weeks as we work through. But what is a force? Let's just look at force in the terms, just simple terms of what a force is. A force actually in the most simplest term is a push or a pull. And, and this should make sense to you. It should seem pretty intuitive. But, but here's the idea. If I'm going along at a constant velocity and I get a push or a pull, I'm either going to speed up or slow down. And so what is that? Well, that equals an acceleration. So forces cause accelerations, right? So the cause be behind an acceleration has got to be a force in some way or another, right? So, um, so let's look at a little scenario. And a lot of times in physics we draw these scenarios, but um, we actually have a name for them. Um, so uh, we might call it like a, a free body diagram, for example. So a free body diagram is gonna represent uh, forces with pictures and show you acceleration vectors or force vectors in this case. Um, so let's, let's, uh, let's think of a scenario. All right, let's say we've got an ice skater. Okay, well here's our ice skater. And um, he's very, very good at ice skating. Um, let's say his name is James. He's James the ice skater. So he's got some hair. And uh, he's got a little bit of uh, five o'clock shadow because he's extremely manly. And so James is ice skating on this freshly oiled ice skating patch, okay? Which means that there's no friction caused by his skates on the ice. So he's ice skating along. And he happens to notice a lovely lady. So here's the lovely lady. Let's call her Matilda. So Matilda is ice skating along. Now Matilda is, um, well, let's just say she's not really very good at ice skating, um, but she's a lovely lady. And so therefore, um, James finds her interesting. <laughs> and so what he's gonna do is he comes up and he says, he says, Matilda, can I help you? And she says, she says, okay, but I'm stuck, I can't move. And James says, okay, well, let me give you a little push. So here's what he's gonna do. So James is gonna come up and he's gonna give a little bit of a shove, a force, a push on Matilda. So Matilda, what happens to her? Well, she is going to, um, and actually this is my first vector right here. So um, actually, let me, let me redraw that. I'm gonna draw all my force vectors in another color, and that will make it really exciting. So here's um, my force vector right here. So he shoves her, of course, because she wanted him to. And so, so he gives her a, a gentle push to help her learn how to ice skate. And you know, as he's giving her a push, he does kind of like a double axle spin twist and lands it and then kind of gently, gently pushes her forward. And so she goes, ooh. And so then, um, so, so Matilda, what happens to her? Well, she moves forward, right? So she goes in this forward direction from the push. Um, so we've got the force, we could say this is the force from the push, right? And so that's gonna cause her to accelerate in the forward direction. And let's talk about some of the other forces that she has on her. Well, she has the force of gravity, and that's what's keeping her down on the ice. So that would be a force vector right here. So we call that actually G. G is um, Earth's, basically the pull of the Earth's mass on the skater. And, um, and, then, and then there's another force too, because the ice is holding her up. It's actually pushing up with an equal force as gravity is pulling down, which is why she's staying in one 
uh, in one position. So there's the force of the ice on the skater. So the force of the ice on Matilda. Okay, and James has these same forces too. But anyways, um, what we're doing right here is, um, in this scenario right here, what we're doing is we're defining a free body diagram, okay? So a free body diagram illustrates the force vectors on what's called a system, okay? So the system is going to be um, the thing that the forces are acting on, all right? Uh, the external world are um, the things around it. We've got the ice, we've got James. Um, we've got, uh, you know, maybe there's a, a light trickle of snow falling. Um, there may be a sunset, uh, you know, stuff like that. We've got the external world. Um, and, um, and, so, and so the, so the system is her, and then the force vectors are all drawn um, to, to show the forces acting on, the, on Matilda. That's what a free body diagram. So this whole thing right here is a free body diagram. Diagram, And so we use these to sort of um, illustrate the forces that we have. All right, now let's look a little bit at some of the forces that we have here. Well, there's a couple of different forces that we have. Um, um, oh, by the way, um, I, I said, so the external world is everything. I think I, I labeled James as the external world, but he's not. James is the agent, <laughs> secret agent James. And so what's happening is, uh, is Agent James, and why is he called the agent? The agent is the thing that exerts the force on the system, okay? So we have some other agents here, like um, the Earth's mass is, is an agent, because the Earth's mass is what's actually causing gravity, at least theoretically in some ways. And so Earth's math, mass is causing this pull on Matilda, and then um, there's another agent here, which is the ice, which is causing this force. So the agent or anything that causes or exerts a force on a system. And remember, she's the system. All right, so, um, so let's talk about these forces a little bit. The force that James pushes on her would be a contact force, okay? So a contact force has to have like a, a physical touch, has to be contact. But we have other types of forces. So we have this force vector right here caused by Earth's mass. Uh, G, which is 9.8 meters per second squared, and we have this, um, this force right here. So this is also a contact force because the ice is contacting her feet. So it's pushing back on her, and his push is a contact force, right? But this force right here, there's no contact of the Earth's mass on her. Um, it's causing this force just because it is mass. And so that's what we call a field force. So gravity is known as a field force. And uh, so a field force is anything that causes acceleration without physically um, touching. So grav gravity, uh, magnetism, things like that. Those are going to be our two main uh, field forces, right? And so electricity is going to come into play there as well. Um, so this is kind of gives you an overall of forces in one dimension um, and then what free body diagrams are. And so free body diagram, you di diagram the system, which is the object that the forces are acting on. Um, you, you, um, you can illustrate the external world, and then you also draw the agents, which are um, the ones that cause the forces on the system. All right, so um, in the next video, we'll go over Newton's laws, and that's what this is right here. This is Newton's second laws. We'll go over Newton's laws and sort of sum them up and show how they uh, factor into all of this.